Well, there you are. Welcome again, everybody, to Wingman Wisdom. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. If you're new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. Here on Wingman Wisdom, we do things a little bit differently than other YouTubers in the RV space, as they call it. Wingman Wisdom is about trying to help you not only be a smarter RVer and a happier camper, but maybe a little bit wiser human being. At least that's our hope. If you like the content that you see here, please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, share it with your RVing family and camping buddies. I think that they will get a lot out of this particular video. You know, buying a new RV has always been a big deal. I mean, forever it's been a big deal. But today, with the enormous price tags and the confusing terms, it is a really big deal. And it can be really um, confusing, right? Well, my friend Kevin Fraser, whenever I get into a place where I need some clarity, I go to Kevin Fraser from Cheyenne Camping Center. You're getting ready to hear a piece of an interview from one of the most honest men I know on the face of this earth. It is direct and solid information that will help you as an RV buyer that you won't hear anywhere else. In the RV industry, MSRPs are a fraud. There is no formula to determine MSRP. It's all politics. It's used to deceive. The manufacturers rue the day they put these big MSRPs on it, but the dealers pressure them to do it. And the reason they do it is so that I'm upside down on my trade-in. So instead of giving me a $30,000 discount, you give me 30 more thousand dollars for my trade-in. And then it's all okay. And some banks are just dumb enough to fall for it. It's kooky. But first of all, get rid of the idea that an MSRP has anything to do with the real world. Now, how do you roughly assume, and there's a whole lot of variables, some models are real stinkers and they get hurt worse and they, you have a hard time selling them because they got a bad rep and sometimes the RV's got problems. Sometimes the owner has done bad things to them. Mm -hmm. Modifications they thought improved them often don't. So right. <laughs> the rule of thumb, if it's in excellent condition and it's not some barnacle, you can figure that from the settlement price, and if you don't know what the settlement price is, if you don't know what it was sold for, and probably better still, do some online research and see who's got the same model for the cheapest price. And then that first year depreciation, everybody says, oh, the first day you drive it off the lot, it takes a 50% hit. No, from MSRP it might, but MSRP means nothing. Mm -hmm. From settlement price, from what you could have actually bought one for, it really does in the first day lose 15%. The difference between a new one and a used one is always 15%. And that has been my experience for 50 years. Okay. Now that's year one. That's year one. Subsequent years are more subject to market conditions, but I always give the rough numbers of seven to 10% per year depreciation. Right now, it's 7%, but if the market continues to soften, it'll be 10% again. That's as accurate as I can be at this moment. Okay, and then when it gets, and well, 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 there's one more caveat. When it gets to be 10 years old, all bets are off. If, you are a, if you're an owner and you've got an RV that's nine years old, you want to sell it right away. And why is that? Many lenders will not use more than 10-year-old vehicles as collateral. Credit unions will, but banks won't. So you limit your market, especially on richer stuff like fifth wheels. That's so great you nine, information. If, great. if you've got something nine years old, you want to sell it that year so they can get a proper loan on it. Well, you see why I love visiting with Kevin Fraser? He's so smart. And there's nobody any more honest in the RV industry than he is. So what was your takeaway to this video? Seriously, did you learn anything? Is there anything that you would like maybe Kevin Fraser to talk about, us yak about on a future video? Any particular topic or subject or you have a situation, Kevin is available. I get him about once a month or once every couple of months, nail him down for an interview appointment. I promise if you post your comments below or better yet, send me an email, 
drop me a voicemail message. Uh, that contact information is down. If you click the word down below that says description, that'll open up a window. It'll give you links to all the people or most of the people that I do consulting work with, as well as my contact information. If you would like to get a topic in front of Kevin Fraser and get his take on it, along with my, I guess my take, all you have to do is contact me and I promise to put it on my to-do list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, as I say, give it a thumbs up and share it. Share it with your RVing and camping family and friends. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home.